Hello, my name is Christian Thompson. I am a managing partner at the Franchise and Business Law Group. And today we're going to be talking about your franchisor company. So if you are new to franchising, what we recommend is that you set up a brand new franchisor company. So this is the company that actually licenses out your brand, your trademark, and your systems to potential franchisees. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up that new company so that it is separate from your current operations. So let's suppose you are a restaurant. Uh, you've got a couple locations. So we'll just put, you know, restaurant here and, you know, that's what you are, uh, restaurant. So you've got, uh, let's say, three locations and units. And uh, you have that either in one company or in three separate companies. So what we do is we would set up a brand new company for you. So we're going to set up this company here, and we're going to name it Zor, Zorco. So basically, Zor is short for franchise Zor, so Zor Company. So that would be owned either by the owners of this as individuals, or you maybe set up a holding company. I'll say Holdco. Excuse my handwriting. Holdco, and that may own the franchisor company, and maybe it owns your other restaurant companies here. So let me just erase this and just put, you know, restaurants. Restaurant Co. Okay, so what that does, the purpose of that is it does a couple things. One, you create a separation between this company and this company. So let's suppose somebody slips and falls or gets poisoned or something like that, heaven forbid, at one of your restaurants here. It wouldn't affect these operations because this is, this is not an asset of this anymore. Uh, or not anymore, but it's totally separate. So um, that's one reason. So separation of liability is an important reason to create a new franchise or a company. Second reason is because you need to provide financials for this company the audit would be required to review all the assets in these restaurants. And so you want that separation. You don't want the audit to have to deal with the assets and financials here. You just want the financials to focus on royalties and other fees coming in. And we'll put fees from the franchise system. Franchise system. Okay, so that's the reason for setting up this new company. So we have a, a total separation of liabilities and it makes your audit better. Uh, what else you can do sometimes is people will set up like a distribution company. So we'll put distribution co. And that provides uh, goods and services to your franchise system. Sometimes what they'll have here is an IP company, IP Co. So now your intellectual property, your recipes, your trademark, all of your uh, intellectual property is held here. So now if your franchise company gets sued or your distribution company gets sued or even your restaurant company gets sued, the IP is totally separate. It's uh, separated over here and you're not going to lose it. So at the Franchise and Business Law Group, we've got the expertise to be able to help you set up your franchise or company, maybe distribution company, intellectual property company, in a way that protects your assets and makes your system the best possible. So please reach out to us at the Franchise and Business Law Group and we'd love to help you set up your franchise system.